Look at these one looking for chicken wings. What? You don't want that. Boy, you ain't hungry. You just think you're hungry. Oh Lord, good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm trying not to look cold, but dang, it's cold. But dang, it's cold. It's cold. I ain't even playing. Dang, it didn't even seem like it was this cold. I, I would have worn my hoodie. Dang. And I said today I ain't gonna check the weather because it was so hot in the house. Then I was having menopause, whatever that was, that I, heat, thank you all during the night, the night, I kept coming out of my cover, cause it was so hot, I'm like, oh gosh, she's probably hot, probably gonna be warm outside, and it's freezy, so I'm assuming my heater, and I kept cutting my heater off, see that wasn't even the main focus this morning, until I got out this door, and then got in this car. But good morning, y'all. I had a very, very beautiful weekend. Good morning, Ms. V. I had a, a beautiful weekend because I didn't get called into work. I didn't go to work again. This is my second weekend because the first weekend, I was scared. I said, I'm, I'm going to go to work. I'm going to go to work. You know, I because, but y'all, I have to just be 110% honest. It's either or. You're going to pick your job or you're going to pick your kids. Because personally, I don't mind going to work. But going to work and blessing seven days, trying to anyway, because it, it's mostly six days. Because I really be trying to do laundry a lot. I have to take out time for laundry now. Because with five kids during the week, the laundry do pile up. And laundry and getting food cooked, you know, and grocery shop, I have to take a day off. But is it really a day off? Well, you have to do all of that on your day off. Even my kids, making sure they getting their assignments that they miss, making sure my kids get, you know, school projects and stuff done. Just is it really a day off? And last week, I was like, man, I'm taking me this weekend off. Like, I'm actually having two days off. And I promised myself I was going to sleep. I I tricked myself because I did get up and I cooked. And I cooked big, but it's still different. I cooked big. I was doing laundry. I cleaned up my living room. Like, only thing I didn't do was wash my dishes. Y'all know my sink still messed up, even though I gave that man ample enough time to be the kind of fix my sink. But my son, he get on my nerves because he always get mad when I wash the dishes. And... Y'all, I was just in there cleaning my counters, redoing my living room, cleaning my room, cleaning the laundry room. And then it became later. But I still, I'm still going to get to my bathroom. See, my bathroom, I clean that in a day because I be in my bathroom. So I could just, but everything else, it take time to clean. It take time to do stuff like, even with my granddaughter, I have to tend to hurt. Like, I'm just saying I really took time off, and I really went to sleep. I woke up and went back to sleep. Woke up again, went back to sleep. Woke up again, went back to sleep. Did I wake up again and go back to sleep? Like, it was a good time. Like, And I felt so bad, because I'm like, oh my God, I just been in this bed sleep. I wake up, watch a little YouTube, go right back to sleep. <laughs> right back to sleep. I kept falling asleep on um, when the pops pulled the people over and they be acting up food. I fell asleep on them videos, then I fell asleep on interrogation videos. I would just, that felt so good. That felt so good. And then this weekend I said, okay, now last weekend was so lit, but it didn't even seem like I got no sleep. 
And so I said, this weekend, I'm going back to sleep. And it's another thing. When you bust your butt on a job so, 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 so much, then you get your paycheck. Then you miss and stuff on your paycheck. The way these got their managers run from you, bro. You be so in my face talking about everything else. But as soon as the pay ain't adding up, it's, well, I got to talk to you. Well, did you sure? And did you, let me see if you, no. How you let me see if anything? You didn't see me every day. You can make sure you timing out in a week of 80 something hours. You can make sure my got there in 70 hours on these. What are you talking about? And then, y'all, he kept, this is the thing, my manager even, he just kept going on and on and on and on about how I don't understand how pay works. He want to keep telling everybody I blew up on him, I went off on him in the office. Boy, why would I not? And I did not feel like I went off on you. What I feel like I did was talk to you like, you think I'm stupid. That's how I was talking to you, mother freaker. Because you sitting up here put, you saying it so loud, everybody else coming from the front agreeing with you. And then you telling me that, see, they trying to tell you. And then I go off on them because who the hell is you to tell me to tell, tell them to tell me any goddamn thing. And you still saying that, you still keep saying that to people. Bro, I did not blow up, bro. And if I did, so the hell what, bro? You don't know how to shut your goddamn mouth and take it? Like, because I knew I was not freaking wrong, bro. And you couldn't even get in the system to show me and prove me that I was wrong, bro. Then as soon as your GM come, he looked back there and found out I ain't even got paid for a whole entire week. How you gonna sit up and tell some goddamn everybody? Bro, I just went on, went through this with my last job, but I knew how they was stealing my hours. But you seem to be clocking, saying you gonna clock somebody in, and definitely don't. Just like the other day, Lisa, uh, she had to make sure she was like, uh, uh-uh, I made sure he clocked you in, cause yes, this is the third time you sit back there on that computer. You got one computer to clock everybody in. That's so dumb. One computer to clock everybody in, and the same computer is what they do all they work on in the morning. So when you come in at the clock in in the morning, they got work to do. They like, okay, I clock you in. So for a whole week, you did not clock me in. Then the next three times, he up here, oh, I, I, I gotta do it. I gotta do. It. I gotta clock you in. So then you did not clock me in. So in the middle of the shift, we talking, and I'm like, you know, you can't work on some registers and stuff to let you know that you ain't clocked in. So that's how we found out I'm not clocked in. He ran into the back. Oh. Then one day you ran to the back to clock me in and still didn't clock me in. So that was another reason, a big reason why I was like, this weekend I'm not working. And that's the weekend I went to sleep. Like, I was already, he already felt that vibe. Don't even call me because it's a complete no. It's a complete no. And he, then he'll throw around the restaurant to my, if you want to, whenever you want to come in on the weekends, whenever you... You want to come in at night? I already know that. I already know that. Hell, I see how y'all functioning up here anyway. But to go there and bust your apple bottom butt in your apple bottom jeans and motherfuckers go acting like that, yeah, it's time to take some time off for me. I'm trying to get some scraping because I ain't no much, nothing going to get straight. But scraping and it, I feel like you need to be straightened the hook. Like, play my goddamn money. Crazy. It's crazy. But, I'm serious, y'all. I had, like, a great two weekends off. And I ain't gonna lie now. Nah, this can't keep happening because uh, these two weeks went in that one goddamn paycheck. So we can have a flop. But, uh, and we, we kind of got something to help with that paycheck so i ain't really tripping about it but we can't keep missing days of work now we can't keep missing weekends because that's money because that's money but i know one thing he getting my guy there now pisces man is totally different from pisces woman and i just be seeing him question myself all the time about do I just want to get 
And they'll be job hard and shit. No. For some reason, I'm going to be happy. Not unless it's two fast food jobs. And that's for real. But y'all don't know that hustle and bustle, bro. Especially when them lines get full. Oh my God, I'm so silly. But them lines get full, boy. I'm telling you, burn calories, bro. You up and moving. That is why all these other people be fat. And then they get all these surgeries because all they doing is standing a damn around or either sitting a damn around in these chairs, rolling around, eating sandwiches all goddamn day. They come see us on they break. Yeah, y'all make it, what, 17 19 to $20 an hour? Okay, rolling around in the chair all goddamn week. In some kind of way, y'all better than this because y'all went to Curlage. Ooh. Curlage get on my nerves. Like, everybody, hmm. They go to college, they just automatically think they better than you. In a little bit, in a little bit of way, you kind of is because I don't got time to go to no damn college and I ain't even finna hold you. <laughs> I ain't even finna hold you. Like, people, somebody said, you love cooking and um, designing. You should go back for cooking and designing. If I already love cooking and designing, what the hell am I going to go to school for? For What the hell am I going to pay for somebody to teach me? For What? Yo, that is so crazy. Only to get that on my resume that I went to college. But then I'm seeing paying all this goddamn money because I got to pay off this that I, you know, because I went to college. Then you go find a, a several different jobs that won't even hire you. Because you ain't got no damn experience. The only thing you got is experience in college. So now it's who you know so they can get you in the door. That sounds like a plan. No, it sounds like the dumbest plan. That plan might work for somebody that don't have children. Don't have bills that's in their damn gone name. That kind of plan works for them kind of people. Yeah, the light bill people, well, I'm, see, I'm going to college. And it's either pay you or them. Now, I'm thanking them, but you might be thanking you. You know? Whatever. Oh, he's so handsome and all his brown walking down the street. Oh, he is so handsome. I know just who it was. But, oh my God, look at that truck. I just, oh my God, I just want to find me a thick teddy bear with a high truck, with a white boy truck, bro. That's what I want. I know that's our topic. And so is this what I'm finna say? Some wings. Bro, I made some wings so good. <laughs> I had to wake up and defrost some more of them. Because I was like, they don't. Whole bag of damn wings. It's gone. But they finna eat the rest of them. And I made some chicken and rice, bro. Some green beans. Listen, I made some chopped potatoes in them guys. You did say that's enough for them guys to her potatoes now. What does he know? But I had made some, oh my God, that chicken rice, so well, freaking good, so well, freaking good, so well, freaking good. And I made it with some parboiled rice, which I usually try to make it with white rice or brown rice. But baby, because I be trying to make them jasmine rice, but jasmine rice makes me throw up, and I don't know why. Jasmine rice and turkey legs, oh my God. When that, it would be so good until it sits in my stomach and then I throw it up. Come on, baby. What's wrong with this trap? Here, baby. Baby, look, we stop right here, y'all. That, this, that light go all the way up there. We're going to have to hit three lights. This is the slowest light in America. Let me see. Well, y'all, I can't even turn the phone around. If I was on live, I could have turned the video around. But this is the slowest light. It's like maybe four cars can go and then it turn red. Then about 82 cars on the freeway go. Then it turned uh, red for them. Then about four more of us go. Then it turned red. I hate this way. And I ain't think it's going to be this many goddamn cars. We all the way back here by this damn plaza. But oh my God, the wind is so good. And I went to sleep. Then my son had made some butter biscuit. Butter biscuit. Baby, them bitches so smack. And then I made some corn on the cob. Yeah, baby. I thought you asked somebody and you come out not 
you come out and just be like, hey, how you doing? I'm doing fine. Excuse me. Let me just push my out there cold, yeah. But I mean, I don't give a damn. We ain't going nowhere anyway. We finna be sitting. See? We sitting again. For somebody to turn it. But yeah, this light is so freaking slow. It don't even make no damn sense. But yeah, we still sitting. This is a big truck right here. That's taking 45 minutes to get to that next car. Oh my God, I just can't believe how good my weekend was and I drink. And I find out that I drink that ain't, well, the weekend. I'm not drunk, guys, but ooh. I drank the weekend and I realized I am not a drinker anymore. <laughs> it was one cup and I pretended like it was wine. It was like a little cup and I said, I'm finna pretend like this is wine because typically when I get a bottle of wine and I be like trying to be like one of them ladies that just drink out of a wine glass and just have one cup, it turns into the whole goddamn bottle and then I'm gonna need another bottle because wine is for losers. Not losers, but woozers. Woozers, as in y'all get drunk way too fast. So I had put my liquor in a little cup and baby, I was up there. I had to. I had to sit down somewhere. And I was just like, how could I ever use the low of this? I was just drinking it, and it was just like, I think I done grown from this. I think I was just stressed. You know, beyond capacity at one point, because that's nasty. <laughs> I'm gonna pray it over my lip gloss. I almost prayed, but I wasn't really prayed. Because, uh, what's that about? Oh, I ain't seen my lip gloss in a long time. Because it's just literally been pussy. Well, yeah, I don't know. It's, like, it's on yellow, though. And it's say green. But what the hell I was talking about? Oh, yeah. That look was nasty as hell, boy. My job was nasty, and I don't put my lip gloss on like that, but I just thought, so what, let me put it on like this. But yeah, 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 it was a beautiful weekend, and now we turn it here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So much for that. And I can't even lie, I don't miss Cause y'all know I was out of a job for a little minute. Out of two jobs. I haven't still been able to find another job and that's really because of my kids. When I first came to this one, getting what I asked for made me not have to just jump up and go find the next job. And I don't know if y'all think this, but it's like when you have one job, people will somehow hurry up and hire you rather than people that ain't got no job. I don't know if y'all ever realized that. But you go in there, that's what I did too. <laughs> God damn. When, uh, when I uh, went and found me a job this time, I had a world pay shirt on, y'all. It's a collar shirt. And I looked, they like a business woman. And when they asked me, they like, you can't get off work? I was like, yeah, I do be at work. Because uh, technically I do. I got five kids. I'm always at work. And he was like, what's your hours looking like? I said, anytime from right now because I'm going through this little, you know. I'm telling you, they was trying to eat at me everywhere I damn went. Even Sherman. Sherman? Yeah, Sherwin. I don't want to go there, but they too damn boring. Like, you literally stand there all day. Like, I want to move. I have to move. Or I would get bored at 1 o'clock out. You got to ask me to clock out. I want to clock out. Because it just standing in one spot is insane. But it seems like you'll get a job faster when you go into somewhere with some work clothes on. And I'm not playing. You, when I lost my last job, I came in there with my darn job clothes on here. What the? Who? I paid for these clothes. Well, I paid for the hoodies in that way. And, yeah, I had them on. And I went in this restaurant. They were like, what your hours looking like? I'm like, oh, girl. And then somebody knew I was the manager over there. And I'm like, nah, I didn't want to work there. But I'm glad you recognized that. I... 
I mean, I jobless. You know, I definitely was. But I don't miss not having a job. I miss being at home and cooking and cleaning up, being able to be around that kind of stuff, but not really, not like that. I'd rather go get some money. Mm -hmm. I'd rather. Now, why they got that super long behind antenna, and who the hell have antennas anymore? Why they got that antenna? On that white truck, uh, you might can't see it. On that white truck, they just turned. That got their antenna. You can't tell me he ain't talking to Jesus direct. That damn, I ain't seen no antenna. I remember y'all, my uncle used to drive with the trucks. The truck driver, and I used to be engaged to a truck driver. And oh my God, you talking about embarrassing. They already can't dress. They already talk like they wrestle alligators for a living. And then you got on um, the nerve, the nerve, the nerve to have an antenna on a big ass earpiece set. That got that antenna. He used to come through my grandma's house. The antenna used to hit the top of the thing. And I'm like, at that point, he knew he should have took that goddamn antenna off. How you run, how your antenna run into the dope? How you getting in and out your car and the antenna hitting that car and you not just thinking, what's up? You not just thinking, I got to lose this antenna? You trying to get somebody to kiss that got there and the antenna just dobbling like, and then I, oh my God, I used to get so freaking frustrated with it. Then I was talking junk about my uncle, then I ended up getting in a relationship and getting engaged with a motherfucker that think it's cool to walk around with an antenna. And adjust that motherfucker. You can hear everything perfectly fine without no goddamn, not perfect. Nothing's perfect, God. You can hear everything fine without that goddamn antenna. And if you can't, then we can't be together. You got hearing damn problems. I can't stand those stupid behind antennas like that. Okay, that's enough antenna talk. Yeah, it's time to go to work. I ain't gonna lie, I kinda miss some work. I don't like the fact that this weekend I seen all these burn marks on my arm again. And it's because I didn't wear my jacket the other uh, Friday. And I got so many burns on my arm again. And this the worst one. I got it on my hand too. It was on my hand on the side. It just, I hate when them burns just be all they be all down my arm. I ain't stay on the thing too long um, that day, but then my other homegirl right there, she burned her foot with some corn. I'm like, God damn! I mean, that shit look like a brain. Like, how the hell you kind of got there? And that corn hot. Man, when you get it and eat it, it ain't even that got there hot. Now that got them hot. They get a third degree Darren Burns around this beat. But anyways, y'all have a blessed one. <sighs> I love y'all. Thank y'all for my followers getting up. I did not see how many exactly it was, but we can afford to get more now. We can afford to have more. Let's get busy now. Let's get busy. We're going to leave restaurant. We're going to leave restaurant open. Because I dare show do. And yell my hands down at you because they is. But y'all have a blessing.